and alive. I love you so much. On the 6 p.m., five minutes and five seconds, the message says, first, my nephew is all right. Second, there's a dead body at the main gate. And the last text message is, we are bombing Afghanistan over and out. with other people's words. Uh, <clears throat> so, as, as you can see, I'm a woman, so I write a poem about being a woman, of course. Um, and this one is kind of addressing to uh, the Beauvoir, uh, her book called The Second Sex, which I'm sure you all know very well, then, more than me. So, the poem is called Second Sex or Not. De Beauvoir published The Second Sex in 1949, and Mao Zedong announced the People's Republic of China in 1949. And my mother was born in 1949 in a house of seven sisters and one brother. So the eight sisters formed an army to assist one brother to become a lawyer. A lawyer in my province to protect women's rights. But I want to know, what is a second sex? What is a feminine? What is domestic science? Is a trap of hierarchy's hold? Is it a kitchen sink's hold? Is it a toilet flush and bowl? Is it a hungry stomach's owl? Is it a bank that's void? Is it a suburban bungalow where a man chews his beef boiled and a woman cooks her soup slow and with the kids Screaming in front of TV's glow. It's a lack. It's a missing. It's a dark passage where sound and visuals each other swallow. Therefore, it gives birth to the universe. Then ends it. Haunted by femininity, I ask, what is the other? What is the other sex? What is the domestic science? Woman is not born, but becomes. Woman is not the opposite sex, but the sex. Woman is not the sexual object, but the object. Haunted by femininity, I say, woman never exists. No, has she ever been born. Only wombs, only ovaries, only eggs. A uterine the universe. Not even female spirits. Not even a single woman when woman rules. Not even in a matriarchal world. The womb counts, not the woman. The womb produces a man, but no woman is born. Haunted by 
haunted by the femininity, I say, cut the womb, shrink the womb, or let's be constructive. Let the womb be transplanted universally. Growing man in every boy child's bowl, everyone shall carry the womb, and the woman shall rise from her tomb. Haunted by femininity, I cry, cut the womb, shrink the womb, or let's be constructive. Let the womb be grown in every creature, growing in man, growing in drone, growing in bull, cock, ram, growing in buck, stag, dog, and president. In every creature, grown. This bit is from uh, uh, my novel called uh, A Concise Chinese English Dictionary for Lovers. Um, and it's a novel I wrote uh, about four years ago when I came to, to the UK from China. Um, I couldn't really speak English very well, and uh, so I decided to write a novel with broken English. And the novel's form is kind of a linguistic structure with each vocabulary to start with a story, um, but in the, in the wrong grammatic uh, sentence. Uh, so this bit, uh, it's called Colonne, and it's from the middle part of the novel where the, the protagonist can speak much better English, and could be even beautiful English. Uh, let's see. The way you make love with me is totally new experience in my life. Is sex supposed to be like this? Penetrating is a way for you to enter into my soul. You are so strong, and your strength is overwhelming. For you, I'm unprepared. You crush me, squeeze me, you press me into your body. Love making is a torture. Love making is a battle, but then I go used to it. I'm addicted by it. The way you hold my body is like holding a small object, an apple, a plum, or a little animal. The falls from your arms and your legs and your hips is like falls from a huge creature living in the jungle. vibrate from your muscle, shakes my muscle. The breeze of your heart also beating my heart. You are the commander. You kiss my lips, you kiss my eyes, my cheek, my ears, my neck, and my silver necklace. It's like my necklace having a special magic on you. And that magic force, you devote yourself to my body. You kiss my breasts and you suck them. You are like a baby who is thirsty for mother's milk. You lick my belly, my legs, my feet. You possess my whole body. They are your farm. Then you come back to my delta. Your lips are wandering in my garden and in my cave. Then in that warm and a wet nature, you try to find something precious, something you always dream about. You're wandering around there, and you love there, and you want to live there. My whole body is your colony. Don't mind.
end, uh, I think we do our last piece here. So um, this one, uh, I'm sure you heard of, can even recite, memorize it, uh, from William Blake, Tiger. But uh, of course, we did a remix. It's a cover version with strange sentence here. For beauty. Mao Zedong writes, All oh, reactionaries are paper tigers, unable to withstand the wind and the fire. Nothing but a paper tiger. When your heart began to beat, with dread hand and with dread feet, and you cried aloud and high, and this be our motto in God is our trust, and the star spangled banner in triumph shall wave over the land of the free and the home of the brave. bright in the empire of the night what mortal hand or I dare frame your cooperate power what is a hammer what is a sickle what is a chain in what microwave was your brain when the star spangled banners threw down their spears and watered heaven with their tears did you smile your work to see, desert storms, all industry. Did he who made the lamb make thee? <laughs> Nothing but a paper tiger. Frederick from Cinematheque and Carl. Okay. Bye.